HIV is one of the world's oldest and largest grassroots uh, mobilization campaigns for HIV in the world. The first memorial was held in San Francisco in 1983, when how HIV was transmitted was not and um, was still was still was being discovered. Knowing they would die within a year, four young men, Bobby Campbell, Bobby Reynolds, Dan Turner, and Mark Feldman, put a face on the disease by coordinating a memorial behind a banner that read, Fighting for Our Lives. In 1983, four men, Noah Stewart, Gordon Price, Dr. Mike Maynard and, <clears throat> sorry, Ron Alexander Slater and Daryl Nelson established AIDS Vancouver, the first HIV AIDS service organization in Canada. The first AIDS candlelight memorial in Vancouver was held in 1984. The International AIDS Candlelight Memorial takes place on the third Sunday in May and is led by a coalition of 1,200 organizations in 115 countries. Around 100,000 people worldwide today commemorate the International AIDS Candlelight Memorial to remember those we have lost and to support those living with HIV and affected by its impact. The International AIDS Candlelight Memorial is much more than just a memorial. <clears throat> it serves a community mobilization campaign to raise social consciousness about HIV and AIDS. This is my 29th year living with HIV. I could never have imagined that I would have been alive today, let alone being a part of both the 30th International and the 29th Vancouver AIDS Candlelight Memorial. In solidarity is the theme of this year's AIDS Candlelight Memorial. The theme emphasizes the need for people living with and affected by HIV to join hands and work together in response to HIV. The memorial is an important intervention of global solidarity, breaking down the barriers of stigma and discrimination, and giving hope to new generations. The AIDS Candlelight Memorial is an ideal opportunity and event <clears throat> which allows people who, have, who are affected or infected by HIV to gather to mourn losses, to celebrate lives, and to give and receive comfort from others. It is essential. <clears throat> it is essential that we continue to hear the voices of individuals infected with HIV. We need renewed commitment and stronger involvement by communities and government worldwide to carry forward the important educational messages surrounding the ongoing challenges. We come together on this day to honor the lives of people affected by HIV, people living with HIV AIDS, and to remember those that we have lost to HIV. See that we're all connected. I'd like you to take a moment and just look around see each other, see that we are all connected. Whether you are affected by or infected with, we must cross the boundaries of stigma and discrimination to join our hearts in the realization that we're all here to love one another. <clears throat> in this evening's musical tribute, the songs are not about HIV AIDS. They are simply for, the enjoy, for us to enjoy while holding the consciousness of why it is we're here. Everyone who is involved tonight took a lot of time 
and, and made a commitment to the memorial, as well as having the singers and the choruses um, conduct rehearsals over the last month for your enjoyment. Vancouver Men's Chorus. Would you please come up? <laughs> 